This is Chris from Scale. In this video, we're going to talk about Phenom's bulk import capability. To get started, click on the Manage mode of Phenom and then choose the Import tab. Phenom provides the ability to load in lots of different content using a comma separated value format. It's not always convenient to do large scale modeling. And sometimes you already have content in one format that it's not convenient to transform into a format that Phenom is capable of loading. However, it's usually pretty easy to get things put in, as a, in a comma separated value or something that can be generated by Excel. So, We'll take a look at three of the different types of imports Phenom is capable of. The first of which is model content. So this is how you can create new entities and associations. And we can do that by composing in new properties or associating properties. This spreadsheet shows you the basic structure of what you need to accomplish that. Elements are less listed here in this column and the operations, which must either be composition or association are, are listed here. Now, if you compose an attribute, well, it's composition. So this would be robot would have a property of ID of type unique identifier. And in this one, robot would have a composed, pro, uh, composed attribute of position, of position type. Now, when we start looking at building associations, well, that's what we see down here with assignment. So assignment, in addition to having an ID composed in, it is associated to a task and to a robot. I prepared this file in advance, so let's go ahead and import it. To make sure we import the right kind of data, let's make sure we choose model content. Then we'll select the file, and here we'll choose DSDM content open and import. Now, it's important to note, not all of these columns are necessary, but the ones that are, are highlighted for you. You can also provide tags, just like we saw in a previous video, for these elements. If you want to do a tag, for instance, here, you can provide multiple tags you could say DSDM comma air. And when this is imported, it'll have both tags applied to robot. Now, there is another mode that you may have noticed called update. Well, if you apply the update and we change this file, this description, the next time you import DSDM content.csv, it will update the robot by, by changing its description to change. If you don't use the update, it will just keep the content the same. OK, Phenom finished the import and it was successful. We refresh the tree. And then we look under Phenom entities. we'll see that robot, task, and assignment have all been created for us. Okay, well, that works for view characteristic. What about the other modes? So we also have enum literal. This is another case where you may have a very large number of enumerations that may have been defined in another standard. And although we do our best to provide a good user interface for entering this content, if you have large amounts, it's not going to be convenient to retype it. So, Phenom provides the ability to import literals as well. So here is an example of the format needed to import large amounts of enum literals. And in this case, we've defined a new enumeration called robot type, and we've given it the observable of kind. 
and we have friendly neutral and terminator. This will import just fine. I do want to caution you though. Here's an example of where we have an enum that has a conflicting definition. We have this mode and op mode, and then we also have op mode and health state type. This will fail to import. So let's go ahead and fix this. And this will now successfully import. As with the previous import, it's necessary to have the observable, enum name, and literal name. The descriptions are optional. So in Phenom, choose the enum literal import, select the file, we'll use enum content, open, and then import. Phenom's going to check to make sure that when it imports this content and integrates it into the data model, that it gives you a valid model. With all of these imports, if the import is unsuccessful, your model will be unchanged. While this is calculating, let's take a look at the final type of data. This is view characteristic. And view characteristic documentation, this is basically the documentation of our interfaces. And again, if you're able to format large amounts of documentation in a spreadsheet format, this is an incredibly efficient way to do data modeling. However, it's very much subject to typos and it requires that you know your model very well. This isn't extremely user friendly, but it is very efficient. In this case, you must have the name of the view, the characteristic name, the primitive, the source, the path, and the name, the measurement that you wish to use. That successfully completed for us in Phenom. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to view characteristic. Here, we'll select our view characteristic file and choose import. Now this should create a new view for us. And we can look at that in the detail editor once it's created. Now note that I had to do the view characteristic import last because the view that I documented relied on the robot that we created in the first import. OK. That import was successful. Now let's refresh our tree. And take a look at the robo speed. There we go. Ah, but we can't look at it in this mode. We need to go back to navigate mode. Let's search for robo speed again. And double click, and it opens it up in our details view. If we look, we now have a new view called robo speed, and it has an attribute called speed. It uses the speed measurement and the path is robot.speed. And that's exactly what we said in the import file. Now, when you're importing model content or view characteristics, if you ever want to update a previous import, you want to make sure that you choose the other import mode. Note that view characteristic and model content both have updates. This will update previously imported content with the new information in the file. If you don't use the update mode, it will keep the existing definitions and it'll just ignore new content. For example, if you change the description, it will simply ignore it. Or if you were to say, change the measurement type, this is the kind of thing that would be ignored. However, if you choose update, it will do its best to update these things when you re-import the content. Well, that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll take a look at the Phenom health checks.